Hey ladies, potential warrior women coaches. Um, my name, if you don't know who I am, I know some of you may, some of you may not. My name is Tessa um, Clark Briggs and I am an Emerald coach on Team Warrior Women. And today I just wanted kind of to talk, kind of wanted to, I've had a rough morning today. <laughs> But today I want to talk to you guys about my journey in coaching and my point of view in coaching um, because mine is a lot different than some of the other coaches on the team, um, especially from Jenny and Tennille, who you will hear from later today, and Elika also, and Alicia. Um, I'm just... My coaching style is a bit different and it's different because I have a different goal or, you know, other things in life that are making it out of that way. Um, so a little bit about myself. I live in Harpster, Ohio, born and raised in Wynette County my entire life. Grew up here, um, went to college, got a criminal justice degree, did that for a while. I was an EMT. Um, I am the mom to five. Um, Bryce, Caleb, Lindsay, Gabriel, and Jackson. Um, I have a wonderful husband, Jeremy, and we have been together for like 20 years now. Um, once you get to know me, you'll know a little bit more on that story. <laughs> um, but I have a really good support system, really good family. I've had my ups and downs. My life has not been perfect at all. Um, I grew up here, but I grew up very poor. I grew up with a dad that was an alcoholic until I was about nine years old. So for me, um, I never really had like an outlet of women. I learned at a very young age to keep a lot of my emotion in and to myself and to hide and cover a lot of how I felt. Um, we grew up in a house trailer when I was younger. Um, so kids are mean, you get called names and you grow thick skin. So when I came to Warrior Women, which was two years ago, um, it was a very dark time in my life. I had just lost my father-in-law to cancer and that was a two-year battle that we went through and I was his primary caregiver. I did all the stuff for him. I went to the doctor with him. I regulated his medicine. Um, when hospice had to come in, I set all that up. I spent a lot of time with him. So when he passed away, I got really depressed. Um, and it took me back to a few darker moments in my life. Um, I am a mom of five, but two of my kids I have lost. My daughter, Lindsay, and my son, Gabriel. Uh, my daughter, Lindsay, was a stillborn and my son Gabriel was um, alive for 26 days and was in the NICU his entire life. So for me, losing him just like drug me back into a lot of deep, dark time. And I got really depressed. I always ate pretty healthy. Um, growing up, we had a garden, my mom canned, like we never ate out a lot of fast food or anything like that. We always had a pretty healthy lifestyle in eating, um, but it was all those comfort foods and there was like processed foods, but we did have a lot of like natural raw foods also. Um, but when I was depressed, I just wanted to eat everything, all of it, not eat, didn't take care of myself. Um, I was always pretty physically fit and I just let all that go. And then Jenny did a free group that was like a fitness Christmas group that I joined um, on a whim. I had followed her story and kind of all of what she had went through when they were in Texas and moved from Texas to Florida. And um, I just, I really found something in her that was similar to mine and the struggles, you know, things that we had been through a lot of shit. I'm a cusser. So sorry if I cuss. It's just me. <laughs> um, so I had been through a lot. She had been through a lot that we connected on there. Um, so I joined the fitness group. She had put a post out there. Hey, join my group, whatever, you know, I followed her. She hadn't really messaged me or anything like that because I, you'll find out in my, um, what I talk on my point of view of coaching, I am, I'm not an inviter, not a messenger, not a hey girl. That is not me. 
I am not that person. I don't like it when people do it to me. I don't do it to other people. Some people, that's them, that's their thing. It's not mine. Don't like it. Um, so <laughs> uh, I joined a group, did the fitness group, and I saw changes. And I started eating healthier. I started feeling better about myself. So then Transform 20 was coming out. It was a new program in Beachbody. It was coming out and Jenny was posting about it and she still had not messaged me. Um, I think she picked up on my vibe and how I was. Um, I'm very bullheaded and strong-willed. Um, so I messaged her and I was like, hey, yeah, give me more information on this. I, I want to do this. What do I need to do? Send me what I need to choose from. So she sent me a, sent me a couple options um, of like challenge packs to do and stuff like that. I chose the one that I felt best fitted me and went for it. And I did T20 and I had amazing results. Um, weighed the same when I started to when I ended. So I was like, mm. so I learned there, don't watch the scale. But I learned a lot about myself and I found myself again. I found myself being happy again. I found myself wanting to do more with my kids and do more with my family. And I wasn't so depressed and I was eating really healthy because with it, I got the nutrition plan and I was like on it. Like I did the containers, I followed it. I felt awesome. And so we finished T20 and she did send me a message then of like, hey, she saw what I had done in the group. She saw like my spunk, my charisma, as I call it. Um, and was like, I think you would be a great coach. And I was like, mm, yeah, I don't know. I'll think about it. I thought she was crazy. <laughs> but like, I wasn't ready for me. I wasn't ready at the time to do it. So I did a few more weeks. I restarted T20 again, went through a couple of things. And then they kept announcing like the ultimate portion fix and all this other stuff. And then I realized along with being a coach, I get a 25% discount on my stuff. So I was buying Shakeology and I was buying like the performance line because I do the hydrate, I do um, the pre-workout, I the energize, I do the recover. Um, I was really interested in the recharge, which is one that you do at night. And so I was like, man, I just need this discount. <laughs> so I signed up originally just as a discount coach, was like, cool, if I can get other girls to join me, fine, whatever. But really, I just wanted the discount. Because even though I was going to pay my coach fee, the discount still made up for it on what I was going to save on all the products I was already buying. So for me, it was a win-win situation. Um, so I kind of started from there. I went into the Ultimate Fortune Fix that was an early release for coaches. And since I was a coach, I got it before everybody else, which is an advantage of being a coach. When the VIP programs come out, you have the early advantage of getting all that stuff before everybody else is because you're a coach. And I was like, well, yeah, I want to try it out before everybody else because then I can share it. And if I get other girls to join me, cool, awesome come change your life with me. Feel better about yourself. Like find something that is going to make you better. Take that time for yourself because as a mom, I work full time. I have three kids that I'm raising. I work doing things outside of the home. Um, I'm really involved in the community and a lot of things. I was a giver. I was a caregiver, but I wasn't giving anything to myself. Like everybody else was getting a piece of me except for me. So this 20 minutes that I spent working out at that time, like that was my time. I got up in the morning before work. I got into that routine and it was my time for me. I was able then to give more time to everybody else because I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel run down. I didn't feel like crap. So it brought it kind of full circle for me of like, if I can help somebody else feel better in that way about themselves, it's totally worth it and I wanna do it. So I started doing that, I did the UPF, um, I did a 80 day obsession and I started working in and I started pulling people in here and there. Now, 
my point of view on coaching is I don't do the invites. I will invite you to our group. I've done free groups. I will invite you to my free groups. I will do all that. But I am not going to be like a, hey girl, like that is not me. So that is not me. I'm not going to pretend that that is me because that's not my authentic self. People know I don't like spammers. Um, I will go like, up, I will completely avoid an aisle. Like yesterday I was at Walmart and there was like the guy there with like the AEP thing of like, hey, I can help you save on this kind of stuff. But I will go around that aisle. I needed bread, didn't need bread that bad. No, we'll get that bread another day. Because I did not <laughs> want to talk to that guy. I do not like that. Funny thing about me, I work in sales. <laughs> I work in sales, <laughs> but I am not that kind of salesperson. I am not a pushy salesperson. When I talk to my customers, I talk to my customers on a human level. Hey, how's it going? How's your day? What's up? Like that is me. I am a personable person. I'm not shoving sales stuff at them. If there's something that I know that they might be interested, I will bring it up to them, but I'm not like, Yo, man, you got to do this. I, I'm not going out there on those sales calls like with that mission. I am still a very, very successful salesperson. My store is very, very successful because I am true to myself. So yesterday when I saw that guy, I was like, mm -mm, mister, I don't want nothing to do with that. I avoided it. And that's what, you know, a lot of people will do. They will avoid it. But I want to be true to myself. So in my coaching, I am the same way. If I see somebody post something on Facebook or Instagram, I'll comment it. I may message them like privately, specifically about that. But I'm not like sending out a ton of messages like all the time. Could I? Yes. Would I probably get more people? Yes. But the other side of that is I work full time. I have three kids. Like I have a lot going on in my life. I don't want to sign up a bunch of people and then like I have all these people. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do with them now? It's okay. You don't have to be like that kind of coach. That's the beautiful thing about being on our team is that there are other coaches on our team that are all in full on. It's what they do. And then there's coaches like me that... I pull in what I can. I want the people that I'm going to connect with the most. And I want those people on my team, which I am part of team warrior women. That's all of us. We all are encompassed because of Jenny. Um, my team is dream catchers because I want you to catch that dream. Whether it is you're in a size 16 pant now and you want to wear a size 10, that's a dream. Catch it. Do it. Work on it. You want to look good in your bikini for your vacation that you're going to be having in the summer. You want to do a boudoir shoot for your husband and you want to feel more comfortable and you want to feel sexy and confident in doing that. If you've not done one of those, do one of those. I did one. Ah, mind blowing. Mind blowing. Lindsay Berger. Get at her. She's on our team. She's awesome. A little shout out to her. But it's whatever dream, like I want you to pull a dream and that's what I want you to go with. It doesn't have to be a huge goal that you're going to lose a hundred pounds or 50 pounds because I myself have not lost any weight at all. And if I focus solely on that as like my goal of like, I thought I needed to lose weight and my body was like, mm, I don't think so sister completely would have been disappointed. But I've learned how from coaches on my team and through coaching myself and learning all of it and like really delving into it of how to feed my body, how to operate my body. And that makes me a better coach for other people. I found out for myself and now I have that knowledge to give to others. So even if it's that knowledge and girl, you just want the discount, sign up for the discount. It's totally worth it. Your coach, the top coach in Beachbody right now, it took her four years to get to be the top coach because she started as a discount coach. And then she realized she wanted more in her life. And 
being a coach even, it's not gonna guarantee that you're gonna make a ton of money because we can't guarantee that. It's all, you know, how you run your business, what you do with your business. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh yeah, sign up for a coach and you're gonna make $2,000. Mm-mm, not gonna say that. I make enough that it covers most of the time, sometimes, like things that I buy. But for me, it's, I'm there as a coach along with these other women because being a coach pulls me in to another group that's on this team that is just absolutely amazing. We talk every day, all day long about the most random shit sometimes. Like, I love it. It's my group of women that I've never had in my entire life. I was never a girl in high school that had a lot of friends. I had to keep all that stuff closed in. But with my coaches on my team, I can be open with them. Like they know my daily struggles. They know what I'm going through. I right now am four weeks post-op from a total hysterectomy. Ovaries were removed, tubes removed. Everything was removed. I have not been able to work out. But I have had these girls that have been in my inbox, on my Facebook Messenger, in my text messages, every single day, keeping me motivated and keeping me on track of my goal because I am in there with them. I could be on the challenge accepted page and post and do all that, but having the close knit of coaches that we have, it's a whole nother top level. We learn so much more. We grow with each other so much more. We do warrior hour and it's every day you're with them, you're growing and it's personal development that you're growing also. It's not just about getting fit and working out and being, you know, healthy. It's working on your insides. It's working on your brain and your mental status that this has brought for me. Even if you took Beachbody out of the equation, I would never give up this group of women, ever. They are like my ride or dies for life now. You could totally take Beachbody out of the equation and I will still have these women in my life because I was brought in to this fold with this group. So my closing thoughts for you is that if you're even thinking that you want to be a coach, if you are buying that Shakeology every month and you love it, if you're buying Recover or Energize, maybe you're not doing the Shakeology. Um, if you want to seriously delve into it, to get a group of women behind you that is going to be there to support you no matter what, to bring you out of those tough times and those rough days because Lord knows I've had them the past four weeks. It has been a struggle to say the least. Join us. Come be with us. You can be a me and just kind of do your own thing and do it casually and post your workouts and post your personal development and you never know what you're going to attract if you're just you or you can be jenny and all out to it and that is your job and that is what you do you can be tenille and do the same being a stay-at-home mom she babysits but she does it also we have alica and I just love her. She gives us some yoga time. She brings all those factors in for us. She has a whole nother group. She's got me back. I'm, I'm working out with some bar. And she started that and I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it on my own. And then she comes all out of left field like, hey, I'm going to start bar. And I'm like, hell yeah, girl, I'm on. I'm in. I'm there. But that's the awesome thing about it as us working as coaches is she's doing bar. Alicia's doing 10 rounds. Tennille and Jenny are an in-between, you know, doing different workouts and stuff because they're going to be starting our new program, MBF, in July. So it doesn't matter if you're not doing the program. Slide your girl into one of ours. You get somebody that wants to start and they're going to do 21-day fix. I'm sure one of us has somebody else that's doing it also. We work together as a team. You're not on your own. So I'll go back to my closing again because I get rant I get talking and it's all crazy. <laughs> But I seriously, even if you're buying all the supplements, 
or you're buying the Shakeology, it's totally worth it even just to do the discount and then you never know where you're gonna go. You may decide you wanna be a discount coach and you're like, yeah, okay, slide me on in as a discount coach and then you get to meet all of the ladies in the group and get even more inspired to maybe take that step out of your comfort zone, you take the step out of your comfort zone because you never know who might be watching you and who might follow you. So that is all the words of wisdom I can give you today, ladies, all right? So just, um, there's a few more ladies that are going live today and they're gonna give you their different perspectives and their point of views and how they coach and what their style is. So just watch them, pick up on it. Maybe you relate to one of us, maybe you relate to none of us. Maybe you got your own style, you got your own thing. Bring it. We are like the group of, United Nations, I guess. We're all different kinds. Takes all kinds to run us all. So I hope you ladies have a wonderful day. Please watch the other ladies today. Enjoy it and just think about it. Maybe come be one of us. Join the warrior women because we're pretty fucking awesome. Bye.